Well, hello, 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 and welcome to Omar's Garage. Today, we're gonna to be doing a review of the latest and greatest Chevy Tahoe. All right, so um, I've actually got a 2021 uh, Chevy Tahoe it's a uh, you know it's a rental so it's not something that's going to be on my channel um, anytime soon all right so this is the 5.3 liter v8 it's got 335 horsepower 385 uh torque um so it gets up pretty good you know i've been driving it for the last couple days and definitely has a good amount uh, of power on it um it gets uh 15 to 20 miles per gallon i've been averaging probably around uh i want to say 12 to 13 miles per gallon as you can see it's a it's a huge huge truck uh, you know it's something that you know with the escalate i think this is this feels larger than my 2008 escalate that i had for years um the car hasn't been washed i've been driving it around and it's been snowing and salt and all that so uh, one thing it does have you know that i noticed uh it has a little thing that appears here usually so it'll automatically open as long as you sway your foot nice thing is there's actually like a Chevy logo at nighttime you can see down there and uh, it'll, I don't know if it'll close as well. Close I think you just press up here. But this is the trunk space. Um, it's got 25.5 cubic feet of trunk space. Um, I think on the, the other, uh, you know, the more luxury models, it'll actually have electronics uh, and also it drops the seat down. But it actually has a, you know, a plug there for, for things. Um, I've actually never dropped these seats, so we'll figure out how these things drop right now. So there you go, you pull that latch, and they should go down. You know, one thing that I noticed um, is all these cheap plastic, I mean, I don't know, with Chevy, that's what, that's what they have. That's one thing I don't like about Chevy, or even in the Escalades that I had, they, some of this plastic just seems pretty pretty cheap. Um, there's no more storage down here, I don't think. Unless, you know, this comes up or something. I don't know. But nothing that I can really tell right now that, it, that would give you extra storage. So that's it for the rear. All right, so we're going to give you a tour of the inside. Um, definitely, this has, you know, you know that. So you don't have to actually take your keys out of your pocket. Um, that's what the Chevy key looks like. You know, it's pretty nice, you know, you can uh, re, you know, open the hatch, uh, you know, you can do the remote start and uh, you can open either the hatch or the hole or just the window by pressing twice. So, you know, doors are really solid. And one thing I noticed, I'm pretty sure this is plastic. You know, they try to make it look like wood. The Cadillac Escalade did the same thing. I didn't really care for that. Um, I don't know why they, they do that. I mean, it's, I mean, I know why it's to save money, but um, I don't really care for the cheap wood looking plastic. And if it is, you know, if it is, uh, if it is, if it is real wood, they've done a bad job because it doesn't look real. If I can explain myself. Um, so there's your rear really roomy. It's got the captain's chairs. So it's got seating for three, four, five, six, seven, just like my, uh, my Tesla. And we're going to go ahead. These are all push to start. And, you know, everything, to put everything into drive, you got park, reverse, neutral, and so forth. So as you can see, I mean, there's there's plenty, plenty, plenty of headroom in this thing. Uh, I'm six feet, feet two, um, so I've got more than enough um, headroom here, um, you know. But from there, I mean, the gauges are pretty, you know, normal. Um, we have... Um, you know, the cruise control, this actually sets something so that you can, you know, it'll warn you, uh, when you're getting too close to the car in front of you. And there's a heads up display that pops up here with a bunch of dots kind of warning you, but you have, um, you know, for your phone, you know, your volume is on the back side, uh, right here. There's one on this, this is volume up, volume down. And on the other side, there's buttons just like that back here that are for up and down for the song. It has CarPlay. Um, so that's really nice. You just, you know, connects your phone to it. 
um, and you can, you know, listen to your iPhone music and, you know, you do have these, which my, my McLaren has, does not have that. So I have to have an actual garage door opener. So these are the home link for the garage door openers. And, uh, and here's, you know, to open up the rear hatch. OnStar is something that Chevy has. I know my Escalade had that as well. But overall, I mean, I've been driving it. Um, it's super smooth. Um, you know, the shifts are smooth. It's definitely uh, a better, you know, for me, technology-wise, from a 2008 Escalade to this, it's way better. You know, it seems like it's got more pickup. Uh, and the ride is just a lot smoother, even though this is a Tahoe. So I could imagine the Escalade has got to be, you know, way better than this. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed with it. You know, it's something that, I mean, eventually... You know, to me, the only thing is I'm used to my Tesla and that zero miles per gallon or whatever, unlimited miles per gallon since I don't have gas is such an advantage. I mean, I put gas in this thing in three days, four days. I put gas in it once already. Um, you know, 12 miles per gallon, you're going to be using a lot uh, of gas. So, uh, but it's it's a nice car, um, you know, for this being most likely a more of a base model. It's got a lot of the amenities you know, the car stereo, there's plugs everywhere for your phones, there's cup holders everywhere. And, uh, you know, so it's, it's a, it's a nice car and I'm uh, pretty impressed with it. Another thing is that there's a lot of storage just absolutely everywhere, you know, in this Tahoe, um, you know, from these little nooks to here, you know, to the glove compartment, you know, even here we can lay, you kind of lay your cell phone or or lay your keys. So, um, in the glove compartment, you know, there's definitely uh, a lot of uh, storage space uh, throughout, you know, even in the rear seats. We're gonna go, we're gonna go ahead and open the engine and I'll show you uh, what's underneath the trunk. And now these things are huge, you know, even to look over when you're, when you're, when you're coming in uh, onto something, um, you, you have, it's hard to tell, you know, I wish they had a front facing camera on this because it's so big that you can't really tell. So there is your uh, V8. I'm guessing this is probably your air box. You can see the, uh, you can see the, you know, the connectors for the injectors There's four on either side. So you definitely have, um, you know, an eight cylinder and everything is kind of jammed into here. But, you know, it's it's pretty nice. All right, so that's going to be my review of the 2021 uh, Chevy Tahoe, you know, fifth generation. Um, it's something that, you know, obviously I got this as a rental. They tried to give me a Chevy Cruze, and I told them I want something with the third row. So they gave me this. Um, the only downside to that is obviously the 12 miles per gallon that I'm getting. Uh, but um, it's a nice truck. You know, I definitely, definitely have enjoyed dri driving around in it. But I just want to thank you all. I actually just recently hit uh, 3,000 subscribers. I want to thank every, you know, each and every one of you who have subscribed to my channel. I want to thank all those that keep you know, hitting that like button because that definitely helps out the channel. And uh, I appreciate each and every one of you all. I just hope that this video you know, gave you a little bit of a, you know, info uh, about the uh, 2021 Chevy Tahoe. If you like the video, like I said, go ahead and like, subscribe, comment, uh, share. I want to thank you all. You all take care and stay safe. Thank you.